The power is back on tonight for more than 20,000 Duke customers who spent about 10 hours without it. Started at a substation, and as Local 12's Paula Toti tells us, each hour without power meant dollars right down the drain. A full working day with no power, no way to start the day. Couldn't do my makeup, couldn't get ready, everything was hot, I was sweating. I opened my windows and that didn't really help either. Probably some hot drivers too, dealing with street lights out and for store owners. We lost out on a, a lot of business today, so it's, you know, it's kind of frustrating right now. Even with the power back on after five tonight at Rookwood, we found many places stayed closed from this hair salon to clothing stores. But at Rally House selling sporting apparel at this location for only their third day, they never closed. We did hand tickets, old school style with this right here so just slid it and yeah I put the tickets in later just typed in the number so I was surprised we had some good sales. Employees at Whole Foods kept calling in and were told give it another hour and another. Once the power was back on it took more than another hour to open the door. When you're in the business of perishable foods a day without power is not a good thing so all the breads freshly baked today a dollar off and those yummy bakery items buy one get one couldn't resist a deal trying to help them out a bit. Some shoppers also tried to make up for lost time. I actually was going to go to Francesca's to get my friend a wedding present for this weekend and it's closed. So that was a bummer. So I had to go to Charming Charlie instead. And back at the rally house there may be a lesson. Stay open and they will come. I'm glad we did. We would have missed out on some really great sales. In Norwood, Paula Toady, Local 12 News. Some customers had power back within about an hour of this massive outage, but the majority of those affected went most of the day without power.